Hey guys, here's a quick tour of my fish room office. I have six 10 gallon tanks, four 2.5 gallons, and a 50 gallon. First off is this 2.5 gallon with a black hot beta plus some rock piece that I made. Here's a community tank with a black hot beta and some guppies and handlers. Got the moss wall in the background with some moss bubbles. Uh, other plug top beta. Here's my creator metal beta Galaxy Koi. Really fond of this guy. A couple good offspring with him. This color's really pop. Next time I'll put a, another beta next to him to, to get him flared up. But I love this guy. I love his power. He just pops. He's a little tired right now. Normally they would all be sleeping. All the lights would be off. But it's the best time to take this video since there's no glare from the sun. I guess I got a wakey wakey. Here's the community tank. Bunch of things going on in here. Bunch of guppies, Monaco rice fish, platinum, antlers, ton of blue dream shrimp, Gulfstream loach, Japanese trapdoor snails, bunch of different varieties of plants. Here's some blue dream shrimp. This guy's very cool, but kind of territorial. Go way over a little bit. Sorry about the sound. No, it's kind of terrible. Here's some uh, some shrimpies inside the Java moss. I think they're uh, indulging on some Madaka rice fish eggs. Here's one of my spawn of the beta fish from the Galaxy Koi. His name is Alpha because he's the biggest one. He's the first one of the first spawns. Really cool guy. I like his color. Pops. smell, bright blue colors, that's what I'm going for, if you can tell already, all my fish are blue, the majority of my uh, bed is blue, 
turquoise or sepulchre green. Love is Spence. Some baby Japanese trapdoor snails and some blue dream shrimp. What are you, Munchon? What is that? The fish food? Oh, okay. Moving on to another beta tank, another Takak beta, it's almost an albino, it's just a tad bit of color. I'm going to try to breed her shortly. She's bustling with eggs, oh she saw me, freeze up mode, don't move, he doesn't. See me, he doesn't see me. Don't move. Does he see me? Is he looking at me? Moving on, another 2.5 gallon with another sick fire blue. Placot beta. We've got these rocks from Black Sand Beach, right as the big one, up north, next to Eureka. Pretty sentimental rocks here, boys and girls. But yeah, I really like these, these rocks and this setup. I know it's not anything fancy, but. His colors just pop too. We've got the seafoam green, the turquoise, and blue, made blue. Pretty sick, just the colors I'm going for. Moving on to the 10 gallon, 10 gallon rack. Six 10 gallons, first 10 gallon Madagascar plant with a bunch of guppies. I love this plant, one of my favorite plants. Just a bunch of luck guppies. Nothing fancy in here. Or, I guess you could say they're fancy. Luck guppies, aka fancy guppies. A little tappy on the glass, get them excited, think it's feeding time. Hey, what is that Endler doing in there? yellows, got some yellows, got some purples. A few kind of reddish. Just your mixy. Which is pretty cool. A lot of people like the mix. I'm like happy. It's a good seller. Yeah, moving on is my antlers. We got some goat shrimp in here. They can eat in a lot of algae, so they're not like um, clear or white. They're more of like a brownish green, which is pretty sick. Come on, camera, I'll focus here. You can do it. I didn't pay, you know, 500 bucks for you, so do not focus. Let's go. Thank you. Yeah, just 
I think these shrimp, they, they're not really the coolest looking, but they do kind of a good job, you know, cleaning up. They definitely get the food on the bottom, and they definitely attack some of the algae, so. I like them because of what he, what he does, his job that he does. Keep on doing a good job there, buddy. Or baby. It's actually a pregnant female. Just a bunch of endlers. Hybrid endlers, and then we got some here with regular standard and kind of like a blackish blue kind of a mix. A variety. We got a variety here. And here's one of my breeder tanks. This guy is just awesome. He is my favorite guppy that I have. And what I think he is, is actually a guppy crossed with an handler. So, this right here is my project that, that I started working on. And I will definitely keep you guys updated on this. But yeah, I just love this color. It's just like a rainbow. It's got like all these awesome colors. So I hear a lot of people, they say that um, it is possible to crossbreed, you know, a handler with a guppy, but they come out sterile. I'm going to find out and uh, see if that's true. of duckweed. It's just taking over my tank as you can see. It's, it's unstoppable. Moving down to the second layer. Three more 10 gallons. Starting off with the baby Hidaka rice fish grow out tank. I love these fish and they're, they're probably top priority on on the list now. A lot of people like these fish and uh, kind of easy to breed. Really easy to breed. And you can get a lot more than a gut. It's one of my favorite fish. It's so how hardy it is. It can survive in extreme colds and extreme hot. One of the strongest fish out there. Definitely my top pick. The Madaka rice fish platinum. And I know I have too many fish. A lot of them will be going out into the, the outdoor mini ponds shortly. It's warming up over here in Southern California. And we're going to free up some space inside the, the Zen office here. Because they're happy, getting fed all the time. Bob Ryan once in a while, when they're lucky. Got 
the Matt and Pilters in the back, provided by Flip Aquatics. Thank you very much, Flip Aquatics, for your generosity and your awesome work. Really appreciate it. Here we have kind of another uh, breeding project between uh, some Emlers and Guppies, trying to do a little crossbreed experiment. And if that fails, then, you know, they could always breed with each other, as in guppy on guppy and antler on antler. So we have both. We have both male guppy and antler in here, and we have both female guppy and antlers in here. So crossing my fingers yet again, hoping I get lucky on um, something kind of new. Looking for something kind of different. You know, just trying to go for the colors that, that I think are, are cool. Or for like the turquoise or the, the blues. This guppy, he has a nice turquoise to him in the front. Handlers. Swing around. Really nice red on him. This is a really, uh, this is one of my favorite handlers. I'm not too sure on how hybrid this guy is, but I'm, I'm trying to breed him out as well. He's one of my favorites too. It's got that nice leopard tail, a nice like green body. This guy's uh, like a pink, pinkish purple guppy. So keep him. Need some pink, need some purples, need some slight reds. Can't just be all blue. Can't. Yeah, these are kind of like my prized males in here. They they get their choice of female, so they're living it up. Very large. Let's do a quick side view take of the tanks. Let's see if we can get this guy in focus a little bit. Let's show you how his colors just pop. It's really nice purple. Like a violet. Hot dog if that color just slipped my mind. But yeah, he's, he's like a violet purplish you know what color I'm looking for, go ahead and drop it in the comment because a little space case. A little side view of the top layer.